I was asked to make a video on graphing with Excel. And so I use uh, LibreOffice. Excel probably has a few ones that uh, LibreOffice doesn't, but in terms of what you typically use, LibreOffice is perfectly, um, perfectly okay. So especially for for this part. So I want to graph, and I want to graph an equation. Let's say What you typically do when you're graphing is you have to figure out what is your independent axis and what is your dependent axis. So in this case, my x's are my independent. And my y is my dependent. As a side note, anytime you have with t in it, which stands for time, then time is your independent, and then whatever you're graphing for. Um, now I want to give it a range, a range of x. And I'm just randomly starting. Um, let's do my first five. Okay. That's my x. And then I want to increment my x plus one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to equals a2 which references the cell above and then I'm going to add 1 to it and so that's minus 4 now all I have to do is copy which is control C and then highlight the cells I want to paste and control V so, I was thinking minus 5 to plus 5, so I went too far. Just to come up with a y value, we use the formula. Now, it's got an m in here that I don't have defined. So, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to define my m. And my m can be equals 4. And then everything else I know. Okay, so now what I do is I go in and I calculate the y for every x and you putting in the m. So, this cell is equal to, and I'm just doing this, um, m. Now, I always want to reference this cell. It's like I copy the x's down, I'm going to copy the y's down. So, I always want to reference this cell. And if I want an absolute reference, then I have to put dollar signs in front of it. So dollar sign C, dollar sign 2. Put the reference to the cell C2. I'm multiplying that times X. So I've got to um, operator, even though when you put it down the equation, it's understood to be an equation. You have to add it. Um, now I'm going to multiply it times x, which is just a2. Dollar signs. Refer to the it. I'm going to add three, which is a constant in my equation, times, and then I can either do a2 squared, or I can do a2 times a2. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for squares, I usually just do a2 times a2, and with the cubes, fours, fifths, all that, then I would use the up caret. So, this expression represents this equation. 
or this side of this equation that equals y and that's what I'm searching that's what I'm trying to solve for so if I hit enter I get a number and just like before control C I can copy control V so XL has for all these X's it has calculated my Y's now I want to graph it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the graph um, icon and that's not it nope there, I think that's chart yeah insert chart I could have gotten there by doing insert and chart right there okay all right, I'm going to cancel my insert chart. Before I insert chart, I want to highlight what I charted. And so this top line will be my axis uh, labels, and then it will select them. So I'm going to highlight, and then I'm going to do insert chart. Normally in engineering, you will do a scatter chart with lines and smooth and you're going to say next now had I not highlighted I would have had to enter the data range but since I highlighted up front the data range is there for me so if you want to type that in you can and it's telling me the first data uh, my data series is in columns and my first row is the label which is typically how you set it up. So I don't have to do anything on this page. And I think I'm okay here. Data series wide dependent. Let's see what I get. Finish. Yeah. I didn't have to do anything. So here's my minus five value. 55 goes down to zero um, and then back up to 95 so I graphed it now the nice thing about graphing in Excel is you can then go in and change your equation I'm gonna slide that down because if I go in here and I change this slope to 3 then what you see is my graph changed all my numbers changed so it, it's really a handy tool for graphing and that's why I um, that's why I try and get students initiated to it particularly if you're going off to a four year school you want to be really good with Excel you want to be really good with graphing it's a, it's a very handy tool uh, you've got files you can share. It's much easier than doing everything on your calculator. So that is a video for at least one expression, and I think I assigned four. So you get some practice. Anyway, thank you for watching.